yeah yeah but still we have online students also no we cannot do that much hurry bari also we can maintain moderate june ending is most jay radha madhava kunja bihari jay radha madhava kunja bihari jay gopi janna vallabha girivar dari gopi janna vallabha girivar dari ashodanandana vrajana ranjana anandana ranjana ranjana yamuna tera vanna chari yamuna tera vanna chari hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare jay radha madhav radha madhav radhe madhav radha madhav radhe jay krishna balaram jay krishna balaram krishna balaram jay krishna balaram krishna balaram समस्त गौरव भक्त निधाय गौत्रिमान ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम दी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जया मुदीर नष्टाएद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवत्युतम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी हरे कृष्णा वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर टुडेस भक्ति वैभव क्लास सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन द फिफ्थ कैंट लेवेंथ चैप्टर टिल लेवेंथ श्लोक वी फिनिश्ड सो नो विल कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन वी हैड वी हैव heard about the about the story of mind so few points we discussed in yesterday's class about the mind so mind is the is a cause for the samsara and mind is a cause for the liberation moksha for both mind is only the cause <clears throat> so how what are the different vrittis there are the basically 11 vrittis of the mind and those are multiplied into hundreds thousands and after that millions so millions of vrittis are there and through that mind is functioning and it is accepting and rejecting the various things and now you have to so see so what is the mind mind is we have seen then further we are going to discuss behind this mind there is soul so what is that soul that is being explained actually he said that the all total thing is done by whom by the mind only whatever samsara we are having that is because of mind whatever jivatma is getting samsara and jivatma is not the cause it means whatever sukham dukham are so raugana's statement is what sukham dukham these are all so affecting the jivatma also but what is the stand of the jada bharat sukham dukham they are limited to mind and but the soul is completely different from this mind so that is a argument that is a point jada bharata is saying so that means now he is going to tell about the soul because so to answer the completely jada bharata's question sorry rahugana's question so now we how to tell about the soul also <coughs> so rahugana was thinking that like how the fire fire is in contact with the pot pot is in contact that means pot and in that pot what milk is there in that milk rice is there so finally so through pot uh, milk is also in contact to the fire that means milk is heated and in that milk so rice is there and rice is also got heated so similarly so in this body so body is getting pain that body that pain is also is transferred to the mind mind behind the mind so mind is connected with the soul so so that's why soul also get the pain and pleasure so this is the argument so objection uh, you can see raised from so rahugana okay now we have to to answer that objection we have to tell about what is soul what is mind is till now it is explained till 11th shloka now we are going to see about soul क्षेत्र मनसो विभूति जीव से मचित आविर्ता क्वाता शुद्धो विचष्टे विशुद्ध कर्तु 
राधा गोवर्धन प्रभु हरे कृष्ण The individual soul bereft of Krishna consciousness has many ideas and activities created in the mind by the external energy. They have been existing from time immemorial. Sometimes they are manifest in the awakening state and in the dream state, but during sleep, unconsciousness or trance, they disappear. A person who is liberated in this life, Jivan Mukta. can see all these things vividly for these two shlokas 12 and 13 we are going to see from क्रम संदर्भ ओके प्लीज एक्सप्लेन फाइव पॉइंट इलेवन पॉइंट ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन प्लीज एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल Five point eleven point twelve and thirteen, based upon Krama Sandarbha. Okay, Max. No, actually you do like this. Please write, please write, uh, and explain. Please write uh, five point eleven point twelve and thirteen. that means you should remember this shloka and write it okay you should write this shloka also uh, 12 and 13 uh, verses also please write so uh, so verse please write the verses 5.11.12 and 13 and explain those in uh, explain in detail those based upon क्रम संदर्भ फिफ्टीन मार्क्स ओके चैतन्य जीवन यू आर राइटिंग यू विल शेयर ऑल ऑल विल शेयर मुझे क्वेश्चन बैंक चाहिए सिर्फ अनमिट नहीं कर रहा है वो अच्छा वी राइटिंग देन ओके स्वर्णकांत यू शेयर विद सो नो व्हाट इज सेट व्हाट इज अनवाय ऑफ दिस लोका What is the verb in this? Verb. Hmm? Vicheshte. Vicheshte is the verb. Okay. What is the meaning of vicheshte? Huh? Sees. Sees. Vicheshte. Sees. Who sees? Shetragna sees. What he sees? this is the point what he sees he sees laddu he sees gulab jamun what he sees what he sees kshetrajna will see what kshetrajna will see what he will see kshetrajna will see kshetram grass and subtle body no there is only one thing is there subject verb object subject is kshetragna verb is vichaste and what is object kshetragna sa what ah vibhuti hi 
Vibhuti he is the object. Vibhuti he means Vrittis. Uh, whose Vrittis? Manasaha. Manasaha Jeevasya Maya Rachitasya Avishuddha, avishuddha Kartuhu. Kshetragnaha. Ay. Kaisa. Kshetragnaha. Vichaste. Sees. Subject. This verb. What he sees? Object. So what is that object? Vibhuti hi. This is the object. So whose vibhuti is? Manasaha. Already we studied na vibhuti. Vibhus means vibhuti means vrittis. Vrittis means functions. Functions of whom? Mind. So this. What are the different visheshanas for this? So visheshanas, adjectives, adjectives for. Adjectives for mind is, what are those? Jeevasya. First one is what? Jeevasya. Next. Maya Rachitasya. Next. Avishuddha Kartuhu. Next. What else? Yeah. And this Shetragna is how? What is the Visheshna for this? Shuddha. Shuddha. Because it is the basic beginning, it is the beginning Visheshvakyam for Paramatma Sundarbha. Very important slokas, these two. Okay. Shuddha Kshetragnaha, which is the sa. What is the vibhutis? Functions. Functions of mind, which is also jiva. Mind is, is known as here jiva. That is maya rachitasya. This mind is made by what? Maya. And this mind is avishuddha. Avishuddha karta. Avishuddha. Okay. These vrittis, it is also having the. So, vibhutis belongs. Belongs to mind. Okay. It is also having the adjectives. Adjectives. What are those? What are the adjectives for this? These vibhutis are kvachit avirhitaha kvachit avirhitaha that means kvachit nai, kvapi, sorry. Kvapi, kvapi means kvachit. Kvapi avirhitaha tirohitaha. Tirohitaha. That means sometimes they are manifesting and sometimes they are unmanifesting. These vibhutis. These vibhutis means vrittis, belongs to mind. That mind is nothing but jiva, is made up of maya and it is avishuddha. That means this mind is avishuddha, but this kshetragna atma is shuddha. So Rahugana's point is, so he is thinking that this Shetragna, he is also get got affected by the this vrittis, but there is no effect here itself. Here clarifying, here he is clarifying. So what what we have to learn from here? So from the commentary, so that we have to see. This is the, the basic anvaya. So. Yaha Shuddha Api Maya Rachitasya Vakshamana Sarvakshetragnasya 
माया कल्पितस्य मनसः अंतकरण से प्रसिद्ध विभूति वृत्ति विचष्टे विशेषेण पश्य विचष्टे मीन विशेषेण पश्य विशेषेण पश्य मीन विशेषेण पश्य सीस् इन स्पेशल वे विशेषेण पश्य पश्य त्र आविष्ट भव्य दिस् जीवात्मा इज जस्ट सी दिस् वृत्ति आर् आलो इज डूइंग समथिंग इट इज नॉट जस्ट सी बट इट इज आलो एंटरिंग इन टू दोस एंटरिंग इन टू दोस वृत्ति दर् अ प्रॉब्लम ऐक्चुअली इफ इट इज सिंपली सी ओके बट इट इज नॉट सिंपली सी बट आलो इट इज लाइक क्रिकेट मैच You are watching just without any so attachment. Then you will not get any pain or pleasure. But if you have, so that means some kind of so attachment. That means you are thinking that I am belong to this this uh, side. I am belong to that side. If that kind of side, if you take, then what will happen? You will get pain and pleasure. So, but this atma is completely pure. It 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 doesn't have any business. It don't have any so it doesn't have any business to so with these kind of vrittis. But still, what it is doing, it is seeing and after that entering into those vrittis. It is entering into those vrittis. That is the problem. It should not enter, but it is entering. So, atma, chetra means atma. जीवात्मा प्यूर सोल सह खलु असो जीवनाम सो हु इज मेकिंग this mind this mind is made by maya ras that means this maya this maya belongs to another kshetragna belongs to another kshetragna who is another kshetragna super so it is belong to that okay <coughs> सो सह खलु असो जीवनाम स्वशरीर द्वयलक्षण क्षेत्र से ज्ञातृत्वा जीवा मीन वाट मैंड सो जीवा इज एडक्टिव फॉर दि मैंड इज जीवा दट मीन मैंड इज आलो नोन एज जीवा वै मैंड इज नोन एज जीवा जीवा मीन What do you mean? Definition of the jiva? Jiva means subtle and cross body. What is this then? This is jiva atma, and this is jiva. Subtle and cross bodies are known as jiva. That means jiva is also known as what is another name of jiva? Kshetram. Jiva's another name is kshetram. Yes, these two bodies are nothing but kshetram. And he knows this person knows this atma knows this kshetram. That's why he is known as kshetragraha, the knower of 
Kshetram. He has the facility of knowing all this, but he, he should not enter into those vrittis, but he is doing that. Why he is entering then? Hmm? Why Jeevo Paditaya Jeeva Tadatmena Rachitasya Tatasya Tatayopacharya Manasya Ityardaha So why here mind is known as Jeeva? Why? Actually Jeeva Atma is Atma but why here mind is also known as, or otherwise the subtle and gross bodies are known as jiva. Why? Because this is atma, this is atma, and this subtle and gross. I will use another ink. This subtle and gross, these two bodies are acting as upadhi. Upadi for this Atma. So that's why these two subtle and gross bodies are known as Jiva. It is Jiva. Atma and it is Jiva. Why Jiva is known as Jiva? Because it is becoming Upadi for uh, Atma. Jiva Tadatmena. So since being Upadi for this Atma, it is known as Jiva. Jiva Atma, it is known as Jiva. Tatascha. Kidrishasya Avishuddham Bhagavad Vimukham Bahir Mukham Karma Karoti. So this jiva, that's mind, what kind of karma it does? Bhagavad Vimukham. Vimukham karma. This that means we said na mind is only the doer. Mind is the doer of so this samsara. Because what kind of Avishuddha Kartuhu is said. This mind is said as Avishuddha Kartuhu means avi, a, Karta. Mind is Karta. Kartuhu means Sasti. So mind is Karta. Avishuddha Karta. Who is Avishuddha Karta? Mind. Mind is Avishuddha Karta. Why? Because it does. Mind is known as Avishuddha Karta because mind does uh, Bhagavad Vimukha Karyam. Plus the, which is against to Lord. That kind of karma it is doing. That's why we are saying it is Avishuddha Karta. So if that's if that mind does the so the work which is in favor to the Lord, then then it is not Avishuddha Karta, it is Shuddha. These vibhutis, sometimes they manifest and sometimes they unmanifest. So when they will manifest, that is being said here. Kidrishash avishuddham. So kidrish vibhuti hi nityaha anaditaha eva anugataha. So these vibhutis, these functions, that means vrittis, vrittis, that means functions 
of the mind these are coming from when from the beginningless so they are all there from the beginningless these vibhutis so they are manifesting and manifesting when they are manifesting avirhitaha means manifesting when they are manifesting in the time of so awakening stage and dreaming stage awakening state and dreaming state awakening state and dreaming state they manifesting that means this is laddu i like laddu i like rasgulla i like this i don't like this i don't like karola i don't like the name so this when it happens these are the vrittis in the awakening state and in the so dreaming state and when they are tirohitaha that means unmanifesting these vrittis in the in the deep sleep state shushupti tirohita <coughs> सो तत्र कदा कीदृशी तपेक्षायां ओके नेक्स्ट परपट सो एज स्टेटेड इन द भगवद गीता क्षेत्रज्ञम चापि माम विद्य सर्व क्षेत्रेषु भारत देयर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ क्षेत्रज्ञ आर लिविंग बीइंग्स वन इज द इंडिविजुअल लिविंग बीइंग अनदर इज द सुप्रीम लिविंग बीइंग द ऑर्डिनरी लिविंग बीइंग नोस अबाउट द हिज बॉडी टू सम एक्सटेंट बट द सुप्रीम परमात्मा नोस द कंडीशन ऑफ ऑल बॉडीज so one is the kshetragna another is sarva kshetragna so the individual living being is localized and supreme is yeah and here prabhupada is writing commentary based upon the vesuna chakratakur's commentary this ordinary living being is two kinds once again this this living being ordinary living being that's not paramatma it's a jivatma is two types that is nitya baddha and nitya mukta like this it is two types one is eternally conditioned another is eternally liberated so we are discussing about the what kind of jivatma this is nitya baddha baddha jivatma so the eternally liberated living beings are in vaikuntha jagat spiritual world so nitya baddhas can be liberated by controlling the mind because the cause of conditioned life is mind when the mind is trained and the soul is not under the mind's control the soul can be liberated so that means if mind is guiding the guiding you then what will happen you are so you in the difficulties and if you are controlling your mind if mind is hearing you so then you are liberated when it is liberated one is called jivan mukta a jivan mukta knows how he has become conditioned therefore he tries to purify himself and return home back to godhead okay next point is uh, therefore even in the material world they engage in krishna service as confirmed by shila rupa goswami iha yasya harir dasye if one takes krishna service he is liberated even though he appears to be conditioned soul within the material world jivan mukta sa uchchite in any condition one is to be con considered liberated if his only business is to serve krishna so that means when you engage this mind so in the service of the lord then it will become the so vishuddha kartuh so then one will be liberated that is the conclusion actually it is written by the vishwanath also next next 13 and 14 क्षेत्र आत्मा पुष पुराण साक्षा स्वयं ज्योतिरज परेश नारायण भगवान्सुदेव स्वयत्मीयम यथानिल स्तावर जंगमानाम आत्मस्वरूपेण निविष्ट ईशे 
एवं परो भगवान वासुदेव क्षेत्र आत्मेदमुप्रविष्ट विपिन पुरंदर प्रभु हरे कृष्ण प्रभु दंड प्रणाम प्रणाम प्रभु देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ क्षेत्र द लिविंग एंटिटी एज एक्सप्लेन अब एंड द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट who is explained as follows he is all pervading cause of creation he is full in himself and is not dependent on others he is perceived by hearing and direct perception he is self effulgent and does not experience birth death old age or disease he is a control of all demigods beginning with lord brahma he is called narayana and he is the shelter of living entities after the annihilation of this material world He is full of all opulences, and he is the resting place of everything material. He is therefore known as Vasudeva, the supreme personal of Godhead. By his own potency, he is present within the hearts of all living entities, just as the air or vital force is within the bodies of all beings, moving and non-moving. In this way, he controls the body. In his partial feature, the supreme personal of Godhead enters all bodies and controls them. Okay. Now we are going to see here Kshetragna Atma Purushah Purana Saksha Swayam Jyoti Ajah Pareshah Narayana Bhagavan Vasudeva Swamaya Atmani Avadhiya Mana. So you can see the differences between the that shetra agna and this shetra agna. That means in jiva atma shetra agna and ishwar shetra agna. So what is the difference you can see here? Yahatu purana ha purusha ha. So purana ha purusha means adyo vatara ha purusha ha. So parasya ityadi na dvitiya skanda do. इन दिस लोग देर इज नो बिग अन वाई एक्चुअली इज सेइंग दैट क्षेत्रज्ञ आत्मा पुरुष पुराण साक्षा स्वयं ज्योतिर अज परेश नारायण भगवान वासुदेव स्वात्मा आत्मन अवधीयम दीज आर ऑल जस्ट विशेषण ओनली सैकंड क्षेत्र वी आर डिस्कसिंग परमात्मा इज वाट पुराण पुरुष वाट इट मीन दट मीन पुराण पुरुष मीन आद्य पुरुष वाट इट मीन हु इज आद्य पुरुष In the second canto, we studied. In the sixth chapter, creation. Remember, who is Adya Purusha? Adya Vatara Jagruhe Purusham Rupam Bhagavan Mahadadi Bhi. Huh? That is who is that Adya Purusha? Mahavishnu. How many Purusha are there? Three Purusha are there. So Mahavishnu, Garbodaka Sai Vishnu. And Shirodaka Sai Vishnu. So here, Purana ha Purusha ha means what you should take? Whom you should take here? Mahavishnu. That means this Purusha. Paramatma is in three levels. Yeah. You can see Paramatma in three levels. One controls the, that means Mahavishnu. गर्भोदक साई विष्णु 
ಕ್ಷೀರದಕ ಸಾಯಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸೊ ಹೀ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಬೋ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಯ ಬಟ್ ಹೀ ಹೀ ಗ್ಲಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಗರ್ಭದಕ ಸಾಯಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ they are distributing the powers controlling powers they are distributing among themselves like sarpanch chief minister and prime minister on central somewhere and and some on individual blocks and also on each entity so like this puranah purushah okay he is puranah purushah so next ಪುರುಷ ಪರಸ್ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿನ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸ್ಕಂದೋದ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಏವಂ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನೇಟಿಂಗ್ what it mean swayam jyoti means swaprakashah adya purusha this is the meaning actually so swaprakashah means what self illuminating what is meaning of self illumination like in a dark room if you keep a lamp lamp is is in nearby that there is a one stick is there so in the dark room by the by this light lamp is illuminating stick and also lamp is illuminating itself yes or no lamp is showing itself or not lamp lamp also is showing stick so that's a lamp is self illuminating object lamp is swayam swaprakashah or swayam prakash stick is para prakashah para prakashah not prakashah it means it is illuminated by others and it is swaprakashah it means which illuminates himself and also para prakashah lamp is swaprakashah and paraprakashah and stick is para prakashyah prakashakah prakashyah what is the difference prakashakah means illuminator and prakashyah illuminated being illuminated okay that is the meaning so that's why here this this kshetragna paramatma is what swayam jyoti hi that means so prakash he doesn't need any other one what it mean so to know this to know this marker so we need the chetana so which is coming from the soul otherwise this object is not known by anyone that means this marker can it knows by himself i am marker it knows no because there is no chetana chaitanya is not there so that's why this object is known by so jivatma jivatma is illuminating other objects and also is illuminating itself but jivatma cannot illuminate cannot illuminate paramatma paramatma illuminates everyone okay can you see with the lamp sun take the lamp and can you see the lamp and in the light of the lamp can you see the sun but in the light of the lamp you can see the so stick or otherwise marker or these things but in the light of the lamp you cannot see the the paramatma so that is a difference ha ha shayam jyoti ನ ತು ಜೀವವದ್ ಅನ್ಯಾಪೇಕ್ಷ 
आज जीवात्मा आलसो यू कैनाट से स्वयं ज्योति स्वयं प्रकाश जीवात्मा वाट एवर द शक्ति इज देर इन जीवात्मा इफ सी इट इज जीवात्मा एंड दिस इज illuminating other objects like marker and like the so stick so and so but whatever chetanam is there it is also belongs to whom lord paramatma so that's why paramatma is only in reality paramatma is only the one person who is saprakasha or swayam jyoti even jivatma also you cannot say it is saprakasha because it is being the energy of the lord so it is also so illuminated by someone and anyway these other objects they cannot they cannot become saprakasha but in the spiritual world all the objects also having the chetana like the tree in that spiritual world not only tree and whatever that means so mridanga is there and also so instruments are there they are all so chetana that means full of chetana and they are all saprakasha because so lord's swarupa shakti is entering into everyone they are manifested out of swarupa shakti that's why ah uh, next uh, ajaha he is ajaha ajah what it means janma adi shunya ha he doesn't have any birth death other things janma adi shunya no birth and so on so death there is all six changes are not there janma adi next next what is that pareshah pareshah means he is the what he is master for brahm all master for all demigods like brahma and so on so next what narayana what is narayana narum ayanam yasya saha that means what is that narayana narum ayanam yasya saha that means for who narum means what jeeva samuham jeeva samuham that means for whom otherwise the controller of all jivas i am not going with the literal meaning that means literal meaning means you should write like for whom otherwise you can write for whom living entities आर शेल्टर बीइंग कंट्रोल दट मीन्स दीज लिविंग इंडीज बीइंग कंट्रोल बाय हिम आर बिकमिंग शेल्टर नियाम्य नियाम्यत्वेन that word is there if you see there what so naram jeeva samuhah saha niyamyatvena ayanam here jeevas are being controlled by lord so they are becoming the shelter for the so lord that means see paramatma means what paramatma means is controller of the jeeva अरे जीवा ही नहीं रहते तो कहां से परमात्मा होगा इन दट वे यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इन दट सेंस सो हाउ सो दट डेजिग्नेशन विल नॉट बी देर इफ स्टूडेंट्स आर इफ स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट देर इज एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टीचर 
is there any point of any any that means is there any sense of teacher no of course i know the subject but if students are not there can i be called as a teacher no na if all you are packed everything and you went off and i am alone so at that time can be called as a teacher can i uh, be called as a teacher no no i cannot be called because i am not doing the teaching activity so paramatma means what controller and if jivas are not there then where is the controlling and why you call him as ka paramatma so in that way he is having shelter in the jivas that you should understand uh, niyamyatve na और नहीं तो और एक समझिए मत हम लोग इसे डेमोक्रेसी में बनाया जो चीफ मिनिस्टर वैसा नहीं वी आर ऑल सेलेक्टेड एंड वी मेड हिम एज ए लीडर इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इन दैट सेंस ओके वेयर यू शुड राइट लाइक दिस वेयर Where, where living entities are are controlled by him, like this. Okay. Next word, Narayana, Govinda. Next, Bhagawan. अड़ी भगवान भगा भगा मीन्स भगा मीन्स मंट का भग भग मंत भग भग मीन ऐश्वर्य से समग्र से वीर से यशस्वी ओह ज्ञान वैराग्य चापी षण्णा भग इति ऐश्वर्यादशवान मीन भगवान मीन हू हाज हाज दू हाज द पोर्शन ऑफ भग भग मीन ऐश्वर्यादि ऐश्वर्या स्वान ऐश्वर्या एंड स्वान भगवान इज ओवर वासुदेव हाडी मीनिंग ऑफ वासुदेव स्वमा दट मीन दिस परमात्मा इज वाट परमात्मा इज नॉट फुल एक्चुअली दट मीन फुल भगवान हू इज फुल भगवान Krishna is only the full Bhagwan. Which Krishna? Yashoda Krishna. He is only the Bhagwan. All are having the portions because all the mellows in full extent will be manifesting in Him only. That's why He is only the the full. So others are having portions, only portions. So that's why. He, so here paramatma we are discussing about the paramatma okay so that's why he is. so here he is bhaga amshavan bhagavad amshavan that means he is having the portion of the aishwarya aishwarya dyamshavan bhagavad amshatva swamayaya swarupa sakya atmani swarupe avadhiyamanah next what uh, vasudeva is is, going, is being told next actually vasudeva vasudeva come later so next next point is swamayaya so atman nyavadhiyamanah swamayaya atman atmani avadhiyamanah what it means what is the meaning of this atmani avadhiyamanah means so he is situated in himself by using his own maya he is situated in his swarupa in his swarupa by his own potency 
potency means swarupa shakti that means he is situated in his own potency by his swarupa shakti that means he is not affected by some external maya so that's why what is the difference between that shetragna and this shetragna so this shetragna is not affected by the maya but that shetragna is affected by maya as arjuna is also saying you know first canto 7th chapter so kaivalye atmani so yeah chit shaktya kaivalye atmani mayam vidhu vidhusya kaivalye chit shaktya atmani yeah that is all ओके सो दट मीन न तो तत्संसक्त वासुदेव सर्वक्षेत्रघ्न सह अपर क्षेत्रघ्न आत्म परमात्मा इति सो नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट वासुदेव व्हाट वासुदेव वासुदेव मीन व्हाट नोवर ऑफ Knower of all kshetras, all kshetras. Vasu means parvesu. Knower of all kshetras. Sarva kshetreshu, sarva kshetra. That means he is the knower of all kshetras. So that's why he is different from the, this Paramatma is different from the, that Jivatma. So next word. <clears throat> so tadevam evam api mukhyam kshetragnatvam paramatman yeva. So that's why ultimately kshetragnatvam is in whom? That means Jivatma is also kshetragna. Paramatma is also Kshetragna. So, but main Kshetragnatvam, that means knowingness. So, knowingness of the Kshetra is mainly is with, with, mainly is with whom? It is with the Jivatma or the Paramatma? It is with the Paramatma. So, not with the Jivatma. Because he is knowing all the Kshetras. But Jivatma is knowing only one. So, that's why in the Bhagavad Gita, what is said? Sarvan Puman Veda Gunamsha Tasgno Naveda sorry so <clears throat> sir uh, so this is from the bhagavat actually prove that two marks prove that sarvakshetragnam is sorry sorry uh, main kshetragnatvam is is with the Paramatma. Prove that main Kshetragnatvam Kshetragnatvam in bracket. So unknowingness of Kshetra. Eh? Close the bracket. So, is with Paramatma. Bracket close karke is with Paramatma. Main Kshetragnatvam. In bracket, you should write knowingness of Kshetra. Bracket close it. Is with Paramatma. Okay. So you have to prove. So then you should quote this sloka. What is that number, bro? Bhagavatam. 6 9. 6 4 25. So what it is saying? It is saying that. Sarvam Puman Veda Gunam Shatasgnu Naveda Sarvagnam Anantam Ide. So, what is the sloka? Six. I will open full sloka then. Deha Savoksha Manavo Bhutamatram. Atmanamanyam chavidu param yat 
सर्वं पुमान वेद गुणांश तज्ञ न वेद सर्वज्ञ मनंतमीडे देह असव अक्षा मन मनव आत्मा अन्यम च विदु परम य That means you see, what are there? What is the meaning of this sloka? So, body is there, body, life, air, ah, uh, mind, and senses, senses, mind. These are all there. These will not know anyone. Body will know the life, air. Life, air will know body. It will. Is it possible? No. So, body, life, air, senses, mind. These will not know anyone. Emma. they will not know each other they will not know but who knows sarvam that means jivatma jivatma knows jivatma knows the mind jivatma knows senses jivatma knows life air jivatma knows body but jivatma doesn't know paramatma this is paramatma but he knows all this but he doesn't know paramatma But Paramatma knows Sarvakshetra Gnaha. That means he knows this, 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 this of everyone. So that's why that means knowingness in full extent is with whom? Is with the Paramatma. Knowingness is not full extent with the Jivatma. <coughs> so like that means only portion he is having. So that's why main knowingness is with the Paramatma. Like that, you should explain. Huh? Hmm. Huh. Yes, of course. Everything. Next. Huh? <laughs> तथा श्री गीतोपनिषत्सु इदम शरीर कौंतेय क्षेत्र क्षेत्र यो वेत्ति तम प्राहु क्षेत्र तद्विद क्षेत्र चापी मं विदि सर्वक्षेत्रु भारत क्षेत्र क्षेत्र योज्ञान मत मम अलु क्षेत्र चापी मं विदि सो सर्वेशु अपि क्षेत्रेशु माम चा क्षेत्र नतु जीवम इव स्व स्व क्षेत्र अर्थम वदति सो यू शुड राइट दिस आल्सो इन दट दट मीन नॉट ऑल दिस सो बेस्ड अपॉन द भगवत गीता सो बाय टीचिंग्स ऑफ द कृष्ण आल्सो वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट सो परमात्मा इज ओनली द नोवर ऑफ ऑल द क्षेत्र हियर इन दिस भागवत श्लोक इज से दट Jivatma is knowing these all, but Jivatma is not knowing the Paramatma. But you should also say that Paramatma is knowing everything. For that, what you need, you need to have the Bhagavad Gita sloka. Your understanding, Bhagavad Gita sloka we need. Yeah, Sarvakshetreshu Bharata. Okay, so. सर्वक्षेत्रेशु मांस क्षेत्र विद्धि न तो जीवम सो वी हव सीन सो मेनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन दि जीवात्मा परमात्मा हियर न चीवयीशो सामनाकरण्येन निर्विशेष वस्तु ज्ञेयतया निर्दिशति सर्वक्षेत्रेशु वैर्ध्यापत्ते नौ ही हव सम कामेंट्री ऑन दि भगवदगीता एक्चुअली on the bhagavad gita shlokas okay this is also very important so what puro pakshi is saying puro pakshi is saying that the commonality between the so both kshetragnas is nothing but what is nothing but the so nirguna nirvishetar chinmatra satta so that is only the object of the knower not the other things निर्विशेष चिद्वस्तु एव ज्ञेयतया 
थोड़ा सा भी दिमाग यूज करना है आप लोग सो वट इज दट नच जीव विषयो हो सामान आदि निर्विशेष चिद्वस्तु ग्नेतया निर्दिशति सर्व क्षेत्रेशु इत्यस्य वैयर्ध्यापत्ते रिस्क करे नहीं तो छोड़ दे समझा पाऊंगा या नहीं समझा तो अच्छा है लेकिन क्या करें समझाऊ छोड़ दू ये तो कुछ नहीं हुआ असली वाला तो बच्चा है चल ये तो क्या है ये तो बच्चों का है यू नो तत्व मसी तत् वेट वेट तत्व मसी ऑब्जेक्शन आई एम आई एम मेकिंग यू टू अंडरस्टैंड तत् That is this. That means that. That is here. That. That means you. This. That tamasi means what you should take. So the common thing between this and you. What is that? Suddha chetanam. Saman adi karne means you should take the common thing. Saman adi karne. That means the common thing between this and this. Is nothing but what? Chinmatra satta. Chinmatra satta. That means nirvishesha chidvastu. Nirvishesha chidvastu. Remove all the visheshnas and whatever is the common thing is there. That. Nirvishesha chidvastu. example this is devadatta five years back five years back devadatta and now devadatta is this now huh? so his head is increased his body is increased legs size also increased at that time devadatta's age is so 7 years old and now how many years ha huh? after 5 years how many why 15 to acha 12 years old devadatta so this both devadattas look similar no but will you say will you recognize or not ha huh? you will recognize but but that five years back whatever head you have saw that is not there whatever legs you saw those were not there hands were not there so nose is is not there everything changed or not like that only it is there no na but still you say hey Devadatta, how are you? See, <laughs> Arna. Ah, totally change, but still you are you are recognizing. On what basis you are recognizing? Because there is common. So similarly, tat tvam. Tat is the take five years back Devadatta. Tvam is the the now Devadatta. And you are you have to use your. Brahma Gnanam. That means knowledge to see see the oneness. This is the Brahma Gnanam. Okay. It is a Brahma Vadi. It's philosophy. This one. No, no, no. Okay. How that means Tattva must see how to see commonality. This is the practical example. Is clear? So that means samanadi karanye na nirvishesh chidvastu matra mevagne yam. What is saying? That means Pura Pakshi is saying when Krishna said, when, what is Krishna is saying? Krishna is saying that there is a jivatma 
and there is a paramatma so what he is saying jivatma is the knower of only kshetra and paramatma is the knower of all kshetras he is saying but uh, mayavadis what kind of objection they are putting here so one should know why can't to them they don't want to accept the two they don't want to accept the jivatma and paramatma so what objection they are putting they are saying that jivatma and paramatma are one only they want to say so that's why what point they are bringing so take the the common thing actually nirvishesha chidmatra vastu is only the noble thing here not the so ishwara and jiva understanding so defeat the mayavadi philosophy write the question huh? defeat mayavadi philosophy defeat the mayavadi philosophy uh Hmm. Refute the or refute, refute the Mayavadi philosophy. Uh, so, idam shariram kounte ya. So, by by Mayavadi Mayavadi philosophy, by by using idam shariram kounte ya. Idam shariram kaunte ya. This is from where? It is from the thirteen point three Bhagavad Gita thirteen point three. Okay. What I want to say here, just for your, अपना बुद्धि का काम का कुछ अभी engage करेंगे आपका intelligence को. मार्क्स पहले बोलने दो इसके बाद देखते पहले एक्सप्लेन करने दीजिए देन आई विल टेल मार्क्स सो व्हाट कृष्णा इज सेइंग देखो बाबू अर्जुन सो हियर जीवात्मा इज देयर एंड ही इज द नोवर ऑफ बॉडी हिज ओन बॉडी एंड ही सेड दैट आर देयर वन मोर क्षेत्र अग्न इज देयर and he is a knower of all bodies so but what is the mayavadi philosophy are they ready to accept both jivatma and paramatma individually ha huh? no so then how they are interpreting this uh, how they are interpreting they don't want to accept this but means that means according to krishna's direct statement we should understand that we should know ourselves and also we should also know the ishwara who is the controller of all the or who is the knower of all the bodies so that is a sida sida that means directly visible philosophy but what they are saying according to them they don't have any two they have only one that is what brahman there is only one that is brahman so according to them the noble object is only one but here if you see the teachings of the krishna he is saying noble objects are two one should know himself that means jivatma and also one should know paramatma ishwara so how how to twist then they have to twist it otherwise if they accept this then whole philosophy is gone unka philosophy gutter mein jayega so na to isliye that's why they cannot accept that means noble objects are two that, that's why what they are saying as a puro pakshi so opponent that means mayavada philosopher is opponent here who is that mayavada philosopher opponent and they are saying that so what is they are saying that so there is a common there is there is a common thing common thing in both kshetragnas both kshetragnas that is what is that that is nothing but that is that is nothing but nirvishesha chit vastu that 
that means what they are thinking that so this brahman only is there so that is reflecting on the maya so uh, and one is reflecting on the total maya and another is reflection of another is nothing but the reflection on some small portion antakarana this is brahman is reflecting on antakarana is known as jivatma brahman is reflecting on so total maya this is known as ishwara but but what actually is is brahman only that means what they are seeing that the common thing actually so this this is original one and for this so some limited energies are given so that is known as jivatma and this is a, another one so that same thing this one only and it is given with the more powers then it is known as ishwara but actually this this also these powers and these powers are are illusory ultimately what is there brahman only is there you are understanding ultimately brahman only is there so that's why they are saying there is a common thing in both kshetragnas that is nothing but so nirvishesha chit vastu this this is their argument now refutation refute it how to refute what jiva gosam is saying here to refute this <coughs> he is saying that Ah, uh, if if there is only common thing is only the knowable thing, not the that means two different objects. So then, Krishna couldn't have said that. Sarvakshetragna. What is the need? That's useless. Then that word is useless. If common thing is only knowable, is the is the thing to should be known. then there is no need to tell the sarvakshetreshu ityasya vayardhya pattehe that means noble thing is that means ultimately krishna wants to make arjuna to know only the brahman he couldn't have said there is one kshetragna and there is another kshetragna and who knows everything this kind of this differentiation he couldn't have said he couldn't have said this so that means saying of that means this this another paramatma is knower of everything so saying of this is becoming now useless useless next this is a one point actually you should remember this point how it is refuted that means if if nirvishesh chit vastu is only the knowable then krishna couldn't have said that so uh, that means sarva kshetreshu that means paramatma is the knower of all the kshetras so krishna is saying this word means it is having significance and that is a, that that word is having this significance and that is not just a, a temporary feature and that should be known by us and that should be identified as as a paramatma and which is different from the jivatma that fact we should learn from that that teaching if you don't want to learn this teaching that means you are saying that krishna is speaking uselessly this is the point if you don't want to learn this if you don't want to accept this difference that means krishna is speaking whatever he is speaking is is becoming useless okay argument is uh, uh, refutation is clear if refutation how it should go if so if nirvishesha chinma if nirvishesha chit matra chit vastu chit matra or chin matra chin matra vastu is only the noble vastu is only noble then then the words then the words of krishna like i am the knower of all kshetras 
will be useless next gneyam yat tat pravakshami ityado sarvataha ityado sarvataha pani padam tad ityadina savisheshatvasyeva nirdishtatvat gneyam yat tat pravakshami prabhu sloka number ah so one more point if nirvishesh vastu is only the noble not the so the savishesha brahman then why why krishna says in 13 point this is over ah huh? oh, no 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 one more point we are giving the one more refutation for this objection one more refutation we are giving what is that refutation one more refutation so that is in 13 point prabhu 13 gneyam ya gneyam gneyam yat tat pravakshami what is full sloka prabhu ah uh, that means yat pani padam is there ah uh, uh, yeah so in 13 point 13 and and 14 so he says noble object is having hands and legs so krishna says no says noble object is having hands and legs and so on so hands legs and so on so that means nirvishesh chidmatra vastu is not the noble is is, is is established next you should learn actually this is the way when you speak class on uh, bhagavatam bhagavad gita slokas how to make out the points to support our philosophy so that is the thing just yes. uh, uh, amanitvam Ah, Amanitum ityadina gnana sucha. So tatha upadishtatvat. What is this actually? This is I two. Yeah, yeah. So acha, this knowledge, whatever he explained, so is also useful to know the noble object, this object which is having the hands and legs. So that is the point. Amanitvam by the words Amanitvam. So he explained about the Gnana. Huh? So that Gnana is also is explained. So that Gnana, what is the object for that Gnana? Okay, I should go like this. So what is the 13 point? Amanitvam. Uh, 13 point 8 to 12. So in 13 point 8 to 12, Krishna, so explain Gnana. Nana sadhanas. Nana sadhanas. To know the object uh, which is having form. Okay. That that is the understanding. The thirteen chapter whole is discussed by Jugo Swami here. That's whole. Now the samasa is not the Maya word actually. Now samasa is, is other word actually. Now only we need swords. Cut. <laughs> These arguments will not work. Only cutting. <laughs> we were against to us. Huh? What do you say? You didn't understand. Both of them. Only cutting are good. Oh, Gnana Sadhanas will not function in this. Now only you should take 
swords and cut this is best <laughs> Do you know the object which is having form? So in Krishna explained Gnana, Gnana Sadhanas. What is the use of Gnana Sadhanas? To know the object, what is that? Which is having form. Maybe my English is, can be editable. You can edit and write. No problem. Yes. Kincha. Kincha. So, Kshetra, Kshetra Gnam Chapi Ityatra, so Tatvamasi Itivatu, Saman Adi Karanian, Nirvishe Shagnane, and Vivakshite, Kshetra Gnaish, Kshetra Gnaishwara Yohu, Gnane, Vivakshite, Kshetra Gnaishwara Yohu, Gnanam, Ityanud Yete, Natu Kshetra Gna, Kshetra Kshetra Gna Yor Gnanam, Iti. Ah. One more point. If that means Nirvishesh Chidvastu only should be the noble, then what Krishna has to say? Krishna has to say to know about that means Tat and Tvam. That means this Kshetragna and that Kshetragna. There is no need of knowing about Kshetram. But he said what? He said Kshetra Kshetragna Yor. That means he is now saying the Kshetragna Kshetragna Yor. But he said Kshetra Kshetra Gnayor. It means that, so whatever the, the understanding the Mayavadis are having, that is not correct. What is Mayavadis funda? Mayavadis are saying to you, this is Jivatma, that is Ishwara, that means you are Vishnu, whatever. So these both are actually reflections of the Brahman only. And you, so see the, you take out that place where they are reflecting, the Maya. So if Maya, if you take it out, that means this, Maya, this is Maya. This box is Maya. And if you take out the Maya, then this reflection gone, this reflection gone, then who is remaining? Only Brahman. So actually, you have to, so no, only Brahman, not the, so Ishura and Jiva. So this is their point. That means if this is the case, so that means according to them, what are the objects should be focused? Tat, tat is a focused object. Form is the focused object. This is Ishura. Yeah. Kshetragna, Kshetragna Yor Gnane Yokshite. According to Maya Vada philosophy. to get uh, to get nirvishesha gnanam nirvishesha gnanam to get nirvishesha gnanam The required knowledge should be about two Kshetragnas. According to Mayavadi philosophy, to get Nirvish. According to Mayavadi philosophy, make the Kama. To get Nirvishesha Gnanam, the required knowledge to get the Nirvishesha Gnanam, so one should know actually. One should know, 
शुड नो अबाउट टू क्षेत्र ज्ञास देर इज नो नीड ऑफ नोइंग क्षेत्र देर इज नो नीड ऑफ नोइंग क्षेत्र ओके बट बट कृष्णा टोल टू नो अबाउट क्षेत्र एंड क्षेत्र सो 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 द so it proves proves the proves that the intention of mayavadi no 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 intention of krishna na intention of krishna krishna speech ha huh? uh, is not in line with the with the philosophy of uh, the philosophy of mayavadis why he is saying to know about kshetram and kshetragna that we have to see then we have to explain his intention krishna is saying to know kshetram and kshetragna according to mayavadi philosophy to get the brahma gnanam you need what nirvishesh chidmadra was you need to know about only shu kshetra gnas but tat and tam that's all you don't need to know about the kshetram so but krishna is saying to know about the kshetram and kshetra gnam means so whatever the the intention you are have krishna is having that is not in line with the philosophy of the mayavadi it is clear okay so now why krishna is saying to know about the kshetram and kshetra gna that you have to explain then my wife will also will also ask na so then why he is explaining why he is asking to know about the kshetram and kshetragna tell me uh, here kshetram and kshetragna means what kshetram means body and kshetragna means so jiva jivatma hmm where 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 Where, where, bro? No, no. Kshetra, Kshetra, the divas are not. Kshetra, Kshetra, Gna. It's not that Kshetra is out and Kshetra Gna yo. Then you should say Kshet, Kshetra sya, Kshetra Gna yo. It will become. Yeah. Ah, we pin Purandar, bro. Uh, I am clear. There are uh, they have been provided two refutation statements from our side. Mayavada is saying that the Lord is there and we are also there, and uh, when the curtain of Maya is removed, both are one. So Brahman remains. But the refutation are given here is that first refutation is says that the Jivatma has to practice this knowledge, hmm. where Lord does not have to practice this knowledge. So it is clear here that. The Lord is Lord, and the Jivatma is Jivatma. And second refutation, it has been provided that Kshetra Kshetra Gnya. What 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 Lord is? So I will explain the first one, Prozi. Ah, uh, here Krishna says that Kshetra Kshetra Gnya Gyanam. The knowledge is that knowledge of the field and the knower of the field. Hmm. Try to understand. There are two knowers. So Krishna said like this. Hmm. But Krishna didn't say that. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. What knowledge is? It's the knowledge of the field. and the knowledge of the two lords hmm. it said like that so two refutations has been provided here krishna has not said that knowledge of the field and at the same time knowledge of the two lords he said the knowledge of the field plus knowledge of the two knowers 
So the refutation has been provided, second refutation. It's not like that. So he is saying that Kshetragna Kshetragna Ishwara Yoho Gnane Kshetragna Ishwara Yoho Gnane Vivakshite Kshetragneshwara Yoho Gnanam Ityeva Anudhyeta. That means Kshet, what? If according to Mayavadi philosophy, what Krishna should say? Kshetragna Ishwara Yoho. Kshetragna, Kshetragneshwara Yoho. Ishwara, Ishwara Yoho. He could have said like this. Kshetragna means what? Jiva. And Ishwara is Paramatma. Jivatma and Paramatma. He could have said like this. Jivatma and Paramatma. But he didn't say like that. What he said? Kshetra, Kshetragna Yoho. What he said? Kshetra, Kshetragna Yoho. What it mean? That means he is asking to know. This is the Gnanam he is saying. So that means one should know about the Kshetra and Kshetragna. So that means knowing about the body and the soul. So we should, one should discriminate what is body and what is soul. So he didn't say simply one should know the Jivatma and Paramatma. According to Mayavadi philosophy, what is the required knowledge to get the Nirvishesha Granam? Only we should, one know, should know the Tat and Tvam, that's all. That means the Shetra Gnan, Ishwara only, they should know. So then he, they should remove the 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 uh, the differences between the Shetra Gnan and the uh, Ishwara, remove the differences and make the common, and that is nothing but Brahman. So for the Maya, according to Mayavadi philosophy, what can be the knowledge? Knowing about the two Kshetra Gnas is sufficient to get the Nirvishesha Brahma Gnanam. There is no need to know about the Brahman, the Maya, Kshetram, there is no need. Because what is their philosophy? Their philosophy is the commonality between the two Kshetra Gnas is nothing but the so Chinmatra Vastu, that is a Nirvishesha Brahman. Okay, so this is sufficient. But Krishna is not saying that. Krishna is saying that to know about the Kshetram and Kshetra Gnayoho. Kshetra Kshetra Gnayoho. Divachan this is. It is not that the Kshetram is one and Kshetra Gnayoho means. No, it is Rama, Sita, so Sita, Rama, Yoho. That means it is nothing but Sita and Rama. Two are there. That is why Divachan is there. So, okay. Try to follow the class. So, Kshetra Kshetra Gnayoho means one should know. So the Kshetram and Kshetra Gna, that means the field and the knower of the field. Why he is saying to know about the Jivatma? What is the need of knowing the Jivatma? So next is, is given. So why he is saying, what is the intention behind this? Natu Kshetra Kshetra Gnayoho Gnanam Kintu Kshetra Kshetra Gnayoho Ityasya Ayamartaha Dividor api kshetra kshetra gnayoho yad gnanam so tan mameva gnanam matam. That means, but actually, we are knowing about the body and we are knowing about the soul. How it is going to so is leading to knowing about the ultimately Paramatma. No? One should know about the Paramatma. So, where is the picture of the Paramatma here? We are knowing the kshetram, that means body, and kshetra gna means soul. But next, what is said? Even if you are knowing about these two, is nothing but you are knowing about me only. How? How it is? It is anyardastu paramarshaha. Why you have to know about the soul? Because it is leading to know about the paramatma. For example, there is a person, is a son is there, and there is one person in the dark room from the childhood. From the birth, he is in the dark room. So, because of some reason. So, there is a window for this room. So, from this window, so light rays are coming. So how you will be making him to, this person is there and you are making him to understand the sun how? By showing the sun rays, you can, so make him to understand about the, so sun how? You see these are the sun rays, these are having the light and heat in a very minute portion. But if you multiply this into million times, then that is nothing but the sun. So like that, anyartha 
ಪರಾಮರ್ಶ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ವೈ ಯು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಆಸ್ಕಿ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಅನ್ಯಾರ್ಥಸ್ತು ಪರಾಮರ್ಶ ಇತಿ ನ್ಯಾಯನ ತಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನೈಕ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯಕಂ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹಿಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಜ್ಞೇಸ್ಯ ಏಕತ್ವೇನ ನಿರ್ದಿಷ್ಟತ್ವಾದ್ ಯೋಗ್ಯತ್ವಾಚ ಸೊ ನೋಬುಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೋಬುಲ್ ಸೊ ಈವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತಂ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೊ ಮಾಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅತ್ರ ಸರ್ಗೋ ವಿಸರ್ಗಸ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪೋಷಣ ಮೂತಯ ಸೊ ಮನ್ವಂತರ ಈಶಾನುಕಥ ನಿರೋಧ ಮುಕ್ತಿರಾಶ್ರಯ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆಶ್ರಯ ತತ್ವ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಶ್ರಯ ತತ್ವ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಇವನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪೋಷಣ ಓತಯ ದೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಾಸನ ಕರ್ಮ ವೆನಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಗ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ವೈ ಟು ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆಶ್ರಯ ತತ್ವ here also in the bhagavad gita third 13th chapter krishna is asking to know about kshetram that means the field and also the knower of the field that jivatma why is asking to ultimately know about the ashray tattvam that is paramatma so what is brahma sutra is also there on that anyardastu paramarsha this is the brahma sutra okay you should all write all this so, so ನಚ ನಿರೀಶ್ವರ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯವತ್ ನೌ ಅನದರ್ ಅಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಅಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯೈಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ ಶುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ Krishna is telling to know about Kshetram and Kshetragna. Knowing about these two will lead will lead to the knowledge of our lord according to rule anyarthascha paramarshah go okay clear now another objection from the sankhait side sankhya philosophy sankhya what they are saying nirishwara sankhyas so see what is their matha they actually you see whatever krishna is said very much favorable to them actually according to sankhya its what is their philosophy they have only so prakriti and purusha prakriti and purusha 
ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಪಂಗು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಂದಹ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ದಿಮ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಪಂಗು ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಂದ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಕ್ಯಾ ಲೇಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಕ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀ ಬಟ್ ಶಿ ಕೆನ್ ಡೂ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಸೊ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಆನ್ ಹರ್ ಶೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಂಗು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಗೋ ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೈನ್ ಡೂವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಮ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇತನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಚೇತನ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪುರುಷ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚೇತನ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಡೂವರ್ ಡೂವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ದಮ್ ಪುರುಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ದಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಈಶ್ವರ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಫಿವಿಂಗ್ ಏಕ ಹಿ ಹೇ ಲೋಂಗ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೀವ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಂಗ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಯೋ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಎಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪುರುಷ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆಫ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಂಗ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ಯೋ so that means yeah we are accepting purusha and prakriti kshetragna is purusha and prakriti is the kshetram so done and our philosophy is is really is, is supported by the krishna in this shloka they will take only this much shloka and show this much is only the gnanam knowing about this two is only the knowledge then what if they say based upon that line that means kshetra kshetragna yoho that means one should know about the kshetra and kshetragna so if they say according to them so there is no need to accept the ishra then objection that means that is the if they say like that then how to refute how to refute their view if sanket say that so one should know you write this if sanket say that so it is sign of it is enough to know about the kshetram and kshetragna and there is no need to knowing about ishwara are the sankets say that uh, uh, one should know about the kshetram and kshetragna and there is no ishwara that's a nirishwara they don't have any nirishwara they don't have any uh, ishwara according to them so then what will happen nacha ishwara sankhyavat nirishwara sankhyavat kshetra kshetragna matram vibhaga tatra gnanam matam mama ityanena ishwarasya ha matam mama mam ityanena because so he is what if you see in the shloka he is saying to know about the kshetram and kshetragna and also is using the word mam one should know about the kshetram kshetragna and also should know me he used the word one should know me so this word me is refuting the nirishwara sankhya philosophy because if krishna's intention is or krishna's philosophy is also nirishwara sankhya philosophy krishna could have said only one should know kshetram and kshetragna he couldn't have said that we should know me 
because the word one should know me is there so it is clearly saying that so ishwara is there next nacha vivartavada vad ishwarasyaapi brahma matra brahma matra pratita purushatvam tad vachana lakshana saved geetaadi desha geetaadi shastranam apramanyat so and you cannot say actually one more point what is one more point this point is clear sanket's point likh rahe ya nahi chhod diye kya log kya According to Mayavadi philosophy, is what Ishwara and Jiva. This Jiva, Ishwara is nothing but reflection on the Maya. Jiva is reflection on the portion of the Maya. That is nothing but what antakarana. Portion of the Maya is antakarana. On that, so so Brahman is reflecting. That is nothing but so Jiva. They say like that. That means ultimately. Jivatma is also in the control of the Maya, and Parama, the Ishwara is also in control of Maya. Huh? Both are nothing but what? Brahman is reflecting on the portion of the Maya. That is nothing but Antakarana. They reflecting on Antakarana. So then this is known as Jiva, and Brahman reflects on the total Maya. Is known as Ishwara. Okay. So ultimately, that means Ishwara and Jiva both are control. That means. Jiva and Ishwara both are in control of Maya. So, if that is a true, if you take account of the so uh, opinion, if you take the opinion of the so Maya Vadis, then what will happen? Then what problem will come? So this Ishwara is nothing but who Krishna. So whatever Krishna is said, that means Gita. So he is also becoming the false. Then you should not accept Gita. You should not accept Gita. Why you should accept Gita? Okay. Is this clear? Huh. So one objection is raised. Just to not sankets. Why about this? Huh. Previous sankets. Sankets. What I said. How Sankets philosophy is refuted? Sankets they accept only Kshetra and Kshetrakna, but Krishna is not saying that just to know Kshetra and Kshetra. He is saying Mam, so Mam, Mam means me. So because of this, Sankets philosophy is finished. And now Vivartavadis, Vivartavadis they are saying that Ishwara is also under the control of Maya. According to them, what Ishwara is nothing but the Maya avachana chaitanya. So Jiva is nothing but the antakarana avachana chaitanya. That means ultimately both Ishwara and Jiva both are in the influence of Maya. So, if that is a true, if you accept the Vivartavada philosophy, then Bhagavad Gita also should be rejected, because it is given by that Ishvara who is under the influence of the Maya. Then why you have to hear Gita? Then you should not use the Gita to establish your philosophy. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This much. That means both the vada apatya. Then, so all the sanke, all the Maya vadis, they will become atheist. They should not accept Bhagavad Gita. Means they are like Buddhist. Buddhist, they don't accept any Vedas and any Upanishads. So they should also become then. So they will also take the Vadham Sharanam Gachami. Next sloka. We'll be going to the next sloka. बहुत हो गया हम्म ओके समरी है सो व्हाट वी डिड एक्चुअली सो इन द लास्ट सेक्शन आई एम सेइंग नॉट द टोटल होल्स लोका सो ऑल द वर्ड्स आई डिफाइन ओके देन आफ्टर दैट मायावादी फिलासफी स्टार्टेड रिफ्यूटिंग 
so mayavad is what they are saying so and also before that i said uh, this kshetragnatvam uh, that means knowingness main knowingness goes to whom that i explained okay that is going with the paramatma then after that so i took the bhagavad gita section didam shariram kaunteya so based upon this section so we are trying to defeat the mayavadi philosophy so mayavadi philosophy what is that mayavadi philosophy according to mayavadi philosophy tattvam asi that means the commonality between tat and tvam that is nothing but the nirvishesha chit brahma so that is only the noble object this is their opinion if this is opinion is true then what is the objection he are raised here so if that is that means nirvishesh chidmatar vastu is only the noble then why krishna is uh, so why krishna is telling that so sarva kshetreshu mam uh, atra kalu kshetragnam chapi mam vidhi that means you should know that means sarva kshetragna sarva kshetreshu mam this will become useless because the statements of krishna will become useless if you want to uh, if the desired noble object is only nirvishesh chit brahma then why he has to say that one should know about the two different kshetragnas he couldn't have said this so why he is saying that one should know about me as a knower of that means that cannot be a knowledge knowledge should be what nirvishesh chin matra satta only should be the knowledge but he said knowledge is knowing about shetragna is also knowledge he said so that means so to not to make this krishna's words so meaningless or useless so you should not accept the philosophy of so mayavadis so this is the point first as we established then after that what one more point we said ha huh? so kshetra kshetragna so this according to mayavadi philosophy and also we said that gneyam tat tat pravakshami that means one more that means 13.9 uh, what is that 19 or what is it? 14 uh, so the savishesha brahman savishesha brahman is the that means pani padam that is also said he said that is a noble in the, if you said in the same section in the same prakarana if you go further so in the further shlokas he is saying that noble object is having the hands and legs so that's why nirguna 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 uh, so nirguna nirvishesh chinmata satta cannot be the object of the noble object for the knowledge or the noble object it cannot be a noble object and also the gnanam that means samanitvam adambitvam whatever is explained that is also is telling about the so is telling about the the, the object which is having hands and legs and so on so so okay next then after that so only that Uh, if you follow the mayavadi philosophy then krishna there is no need to say to him so kshetra kshetragna yog gnanam he could have said only ee kshetragna ishwara yog gnanam this much is sufficient but he didn't say like this he said he should he said that kshetra kshetragna yog so that means what so one should know kshetra and kshetragna so what it how it is useful kshetra kshetragna that means knowing the maya and jivatma so it will help us to know about the lord so that is what what is sutra is anyarthastu paramarshah so this and next nirishwar sankets so philosophy is also is rejected here because krishna is not saying just to know about the kshetra and kshetragna he is saying also additionally mam so that's why their philosophy is also rejected and next vivirtavada philosophy is also rejected here because if you accept ishwara is also brahma pratita vastu that means he is also influence of the maya so then bhagavad gita will become so the anathantic anathantic and then so they should not follow bhagavad gita then mayavadi is also that means ultimately sankara followers also will become the followers of buddha buddha patti will come okay this is a summary next na yavadetam tanu brunnarendra viduya mayam vayano joyena विमुक्त संगोजित षट सपत्नो वेदात्म तत्व भ्रमती हतावत माय डियर किंग रहुणा एज लॉन्ग एज द कंडीशन सोल एक्सेप्ट द मटेरियल बॉडी एंड इज नॉट फ्रीड फ्रॉम द कंटामिनेशन ऑफ मटेरियल एन्जॉयमेंट एंड एज लॉन्ग एज ही डजंट कांक्वर हिज सिक्स एनिमीज एंड कम टू द प्लेटफार्म ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन बाय अवेकनिंग हिज स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज ही हैज टू वांडर अमंग द different places and different species of life in this material world so ultimately kya bol rahe hain to jadbar ji 
जड़बर जी बोलते हैं इफ यू डोंट नो एवं अविद्योत्तीर्ण नाम भगवत अवधान लक्षण ज्ञान शाश्वती कमेवित अविद्यापतिता so he explained about the mind he explained about the jivatma and paramatma so okay so that's why one should vimukta sangha jita jita shat sat patnah veda atma tattvam bramatih tavat so till the time if you don't know about the jivatma and paramatma properly you have to so undergo so different kinds of the so bodies so na veda tavadih bramati that means till what time jeevatma will be bewildering in this material world till the time he doesn't know parama jeevatma and paramatma knowing jeevatma is also for the purpose of knowing the paramatma only so ultimately until unless one doesn't know till that time he will be under the and doesn't know the paramatma he will be under the maya he will be maya and he will be bewildered and is Going in this repeated cycle and birth. That is the meaning. Okay, now next. Na yavade tanman atma lingam samsarata pava panam janasya yachoka moha maya raga loba vairanu bandham mama tam vidhatte. The soul's designation, the mind, is the cause of all tribulations in the material world. As long as this fact is unknown to the conditioned living entity, he has to accept the miserable condition of the material body and wander within this universe in different positions because the mind is affected by disease, lamentation, illusion, attachment, greed, and enmity. It creates bondage and a false sense of intimacy within this material world. ultimately if one doesn't know the different these activities of the maya and he will be in the in this samsara maya so vidunanam cha samyaktaya katam gnatavyam iti chet yavad vishanuraktam manah tavan maya vidunanam atma that means if we are fully engrossed in this material enjoyment one cannot know about the maya so that's why one should that's why who is but jadabharat what he is saying if one is fully engrossed in the material maya so for for him if you directly teach tattva will it go no so what he has to do swayam anumitam that means you should understand by using the example of dream dream objects in the dream the same by that you should do the anumana of this material so uh, this material world also objects are temporary and illusory okay that we read or not in the previously the same way so na yavad etan manah atmalingam sansara tapavopanam janasya yachoka mohamaya raga loba vairanu bandham mamatam vidatte so if one doesn't know the activities of the maya then he will be fully bewildered by so this material so different different conditions नेक्स्ट भ्रातृव्यमेन तदब्रवीर्य उपेक्षव्या विपेक्षयाद्येतम गुरोपनास्त्रो जहि व्यलीक स्व आत्मोशम this uncontrolled mind is the greatest enemy of the living entity if one neglects it or gives it a chance it will grow more and more power and will become victorious although it is not factual it is very strong it covers the constitutional position of the soul o king please try to conquer this mind by the weapon of service to the lotus feet of the spiritual master and of the supreme personality of god do this with great great care so this is the solution so how to control this mind now we have seen mind and we have seen the so jeevatma and paramatma so ultimately that means until unless if you don't control this mind if you don't know about the paramatma and till that time you will be in the 
in the illusion only you will be repeated that means pain and pleasure you will be getting so then what is the solution how to control this mind so this mind has to be engaged in the what is that guroho guroho harescha guru and hari charano pasana by worshiping the lotus feet of the guru and hari so this is the solution this is the story of the maya a mind mind story गुरो सकाशा प्राप्त मंत्र रूप से हरे चरणोपासन श्रवणादीना विधि भक्ति रेवा रेवा अस्त्र सह दट मीन दिस् कैंड ऑफ अस्त्र सो वील रीड दि पर्पूर्ड सो श्लोक मीनिंग इज क्लियर ना जस्ट बाय सो गुरु अंड हरी सो चरण दट मीन लोटस फीट बाय वर्शिपिंग दिस गुरु अंड हरी चरण लोटस फीट सो वन विल बीजीली कंट्रोल दट मीन यू शुड एंगेज युवर मैंड टू so worshiping the guru and haris bratravyam enam this is what mind is like a brother huh? and also it is shatru it is brother also and shatru also huh? mind is our friend no it's not friend it is enemy uncontrolled mind is enemy and it is also your brother Br- not brother brother's son bratravyam means what bratravyam means Huh? Yeah. Bratravyam Shetri is also there. Bratravyam is also another meaning is your brother's son also. Huh? Both. Yeah. Bratravyam is brother's son. Also, it is Shetru also. Jehi Shetrum. So that means one way you can take. It is relative also. It it is. enemy also when it is enemy if you don't control when it is your relative when you control so that is the meaning bhagavad gita also saying same thing so that's why so it it is actually what actually your friend only so but can you kill it complete destroy it taking it as a enemy no because it is your brother's son being your brother's son how can you kill it but he is enemy then what you should do what is the solution your brother's son but he is becoming enemy so then what you should do just upeksha upeksha means neglect neglect it that means but not killing tad upekshana meva tadvadaha just neglecting itself is killing of killing of him like example yasothama neglected ja its itself is is killing so neglecting its tad upekshana meva tad vadah iti bhava bratravya mevam tad abraviryam upekshaya upeksha what is that upeksha so he is a brother son and also it is enemy so how to kill this killing means what you cannot destroy it and but what you should do upeksha that means just to neglect it na to tad ishta vish not that whatever it it is demanding that you should not supply to it it is it is asking i want this i want that i want to go there i want to see that don't supply that just whatever it is asking neglect it that itself is killing killing of that so mind is is shatru his mind is is a son of brother brother son so how to treat him treat with him whatever it is asking don't give it just neglect it it is also story of the mind these points also will come into that okay tad ishta vishaya bhoga pradhana lakshanaya so natu apekshaya anugrahana so ityarda sarvadhaiva tad vadaha tu anavi pretaya that means completely killing that all the ways killing that is not good tasmat manah lingamado vadanti guna gunatva guna gunatvasya paravarasya sruyate anyatra tattvam iti cha purvokte drishtante cha bratru putra 
ಪುತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಅಭಾದ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಭಾತೃಪುತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭ್ರಾತೃವ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಭಾತೃಪುತ್ರ ಇದ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ಬ್ರದರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮನಃ ಕೀದೃಶ ಸೊ ಅಧಿಕ ಏದಿತಂ ಸ್ವೃತ್ತಿ ಸಂಸೃತ್ಯ ಸವೃದ್ಧ ನನು ಬಲವಂತ ಮಿಮಂ ದುರ್ಬಲ ಅಹಂ ಕಥಂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೀಕ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪರೋಪಿ ಮನುತೆ ನರ್ಥಂ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಾನ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಕ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಪರೋಪಿ ಮನುತೆ ಸೊ ಅನರ್ಥಂ ಆತ್ಮಾನ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಕ ಸೊ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ವಾಸುದೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗೇನ ಮನಸ್ಸಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಪ್ರಣಯತೆ ಮಲೆ ಸೊ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಸಿನ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಹೀಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾಯ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೋಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಮಾಯ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಮಾಯ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ So then what he has to do? Guruho sakashat praptasya mantra rupasya hares charna yoho upasana shravanadi. So it, what did he have? One who has to do? He has to engage in the service of the lotus foot of the Guru and the Paramatma. This mind should be engaged in there. Then it will be. Dvasta vidya. Then it will be relieved. okay this is much next uh, uh, there is a uh, purport there is one as a wep- one easy weapon with which the mind can be conquered neglect neglect is iphone okay mind is always telling us to do this or that therefore we should be very expert in disobeying the mind's order gradually the mind should be trained to obey the order of the soul so it is not that one should obey the orders of the mind sila bhakti siddhant sri takur used to say that to control the mind one should beat it with shoes so how many times 100 times in the morning time after waking up huh? after waking and also once again he should beat it before sleep how many times 100 times with what with broomstick in this way one can control the mind <laughs> neglect jadavarta is saying but our our acharya is saying that beat it ki uh, after beating <laughs> this is the instruction of all shastras if one doesn't do so one is doomed to follow the dictations of the mind another bona fide process is to abide strictly by the orders of the spiritual another bo- one is neglecting that is who is doing the gnani is generally they do and bhaktas how, how they control their mind by the so engaging that mind in the service of the so lotus feet of guru and krishna so sri chaitanya mahaprabhu has instructed shila rupa goswami brahmanda brahmite kona bhagyavan jeeva guru krishna prasade paya bhakti lata beej when one receives the seed of devotional service by the mercy of guru and krishna the supreme personality of god it once real life begins if one abides the orders of the spiritual master by the grace of krishna he is freed from service to the mind the end of bhakti vedanta purports of the fifth canto 11th chapter of the shrimad bhagavatam entitled jada bharata instructs king rahugana next chapter conversation between maharaj rahugana and jada bharata okay rahugana uvacha namo namah karana vigrahaya swarupa tucci krutha vigrahaya namo vaduta dvija bandhu linga niguna nityanubhavaya tubhyam translation king rahugana said oh most exalted personality you are not different from the supreme personality of godhead who is saying rahugana is saying wow what a knowledge you explained till to me but i didn't understand anything <laughs> like what you are all thinking whatever he explained prabhu ji that maya vadi philosophy this vada that vada yavartha vada sankhya we didn't understand anything <laughs> so jana <laughs> you understood <laughs> so rahugana is saying that i didn't understand anything and he is asking once again please explain once again all these instructions with the practical example what this yaar you are saying about this 
the mind is big big examples you are giving that's not at all very difficult to understand you give me the very practical example huh? he is saying that so now jadabharata in this chapter is going to give very practical example and he will explain what is the main problem is whether mind is jivatma soul is getting the material pain or pleasure this is the point actually so according to jadabharata according to the rahugana even soul also getting the pain and pleasure material pain and pleasure but the jadabharata's point is it is not getting it is separate from the so body and mind so this is the point they are fighting for this only so now <laughs> even after explaining this is the mind and this is the shetragna shuddhopi vishud vishuddho vicheshte shavishuddha kartu so he said that so jivatma is pure so but still it is not entered into the the mind of the raugana so that's why he is saying that oh my dear lord you are you are a supreme personality of god because he said in the last shloka guru is like a krishna so that's why he is saying that you are not different from the supreme personality of godhead by the influence of your true self all kinds of contradictions in the shastra have been removed in the distress in the dress of a friend of a brahmana you are hiding your transcendental bliss blissful position i offer my respectful obeisances unto you in the first shloka he is just offering his respectful obeisances next jwaramaya jwara jwaramaya tasya yadagadam sat nidag nidagadagdasya yatahimambah kudehamanahi vidashta drushte brahman vachaste mrutam aushadam me o oh, best of the brahmanas my body is filled with dirty things and my vision has been beaten by the serpent of pride due to my material conceptions i am diseased your nectarian instructions are the proper so medicine for for one suffering from such a fever and they are cooling waters for one scorched by the heat that means he is appreciating the the teachings of the jadabharata they are very nice so you told such a beautiful speech is very nice next तस्मा मम संशयाथ प्रक्षा पश्चादुना सुबोधम आध्यात्मग्रति तवोक्त आख्या कौतूहल चेतसो मे वाट एवर डाउट्स ऐ हाव अबउट ए पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऐ शल आस्क यू अबउट लेटर फॉर द टाइम बीइंग दीज मिस्टीरियस योग इंस्ट्रक्शन यू हाव गिवेन मी फॉर सेल्फ रिलेशन अपियर वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड that means very difficult to understand he is saying that raugana is saying very difficult to understand please repeat them in a simple way so that i can understand them <laughs> so my mind is very inquisitive and i want to understand this clearly sunne ke liye to bahut acha lag raha hai lekin samajh mein nahi aaya so tell me next यदा योगेश्वर दृश्यमानं क्रियाफलं सद्व्यवहार मूलं न ह्यंजसा तत्व विमर्शनाय भवान मुश्मिन् भ्रमते मनो मे ओ मास्टर ऑफ योगिक पावर यू सेड दैट फैटिग यू रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम मूविंग द बॉडी हियर एंड देयर ही इज अप्रिशिएटेड बाय डायरेक्ट परसेप्शन बट एक्चुअली देयर इज नो फैटिग यू it simply exists as a matter of formality by such inquiries and answers no one can come to the conclusion of the absolute truth because of your presentation of this statement my mind is little disturbed so <laughs> rahugana is having such a problem how it is possible i am getting pain so you are saying that so there is no pain to the soul <laughs> it is this is the main main problem is this only actually janabharata is saying that there is no pain to the jivatma and raugana is saying that my experience is telling now you whatever he said that means he differentiated jadabharata clearly differentiated soul is different and this is different and you should not use this uh, that's a general example that's a pot and milk rice this example you should not use everything he said but still andar ghusa nahi actually raugana ke dimag mein ghusa nahi it didn't enter into the, the mind of the raugana so he is saying that how it is possible how jivatma will not get any so pain and pleasure it's not possible it will get but you explain me this in a in, a, in a another even even more crude example you take and a simple example and explain to me then i will be happy so then he is saying that brahmana uvacha brahmana is saying now 
हजम जनो नाम चलन पृथिव्या यार्थिव पार्थिव कस्य हेतु तस्या चांग्रियोरधि गुल्फ जंगा जानूर मध्योरशि रोध राम सा हमसे शिबिका चयस्याम सौवीर राजा इत्यपदेश आस्ते ब्राह्मण जड़बर्त Among the various material combinations and permutations, there are various forms and earthly transformations. For some reason, these move on the surface of the earth and are called palanquin carriers. Those material transformations which don't move are gross material objects like stones. In any case, the material body is made of earth and stone in the form of. Uh, stone in the form of feet ankles calves knees thighs torso throat and head upon the shoulders is the wooden palanquin and within the palanquin is the so called king of sovira the king the body of the king is simply another transformation of earth but within that body your lordship is situated and falsely thinking that you are the king of the state of Sovira. So, what is the thing? What is the main point? <clears throat> Pain is there for the body, not for the soul. This is the statement given by the Jadavarta. And but Rahu Gana didn't understand this point, this basic point. So now he is saying that, "Are why? Why you are feeling so much difficulty in understanding this? So this in this material world, everything is made up of matter. Mitti se bana hua hai, sab kuch. Pura mitti hai." चलने वाला मिट्टी भी है और जिसको चला रहे हैं वो भी मिट्टी है सब मिट्टी ही मिट्टी है <laughs> सब रसगुल्ला इधर से मिट्टी है एंड गुलाब जामुन इधर से मिट्टी एवरीथिंग इज मिट्टी यू हैव टू मिट्टी का लो तो रसगुल्ला क्यों खाना है <laughs> so like these four sibikas are there that means palanquin carriers and on this palanquin is there okay are aisa nahi jayega aisa jayega na so four what he is saying all these four people sibikas the carriers of the palanquin also their body is made up of matter mitti and this is nothing but what and also the stones they are walking on the road on the stones the stones also made up of matter so that means matter is put on the another matter will you get any pain like you see 50 kg here that means some table a table is there on the table 50 kg weight is kept will you get any pain for that no na of course the table is belong to you and that so whatever the weight is kept that is also belong to you if 50 kg weight is kept on the table so by because since table is belong to you will you get any pain for that no na even 100 kg if you if i keep still you say no pain for you similarly so that means table is belong to you similarly this body is also belong to you but you are not body so on this body someone is keeping 50 kg will you get any pain or not tell me 100 kg someone is keeping on this body because like table body both are belong to you only <laughs> so on the table if we keep 100 kg you don't get any pain on the on the body if i give the <laughs> If I put hundred cases, you are getting the pain. Why you are getting? That is the point of Jadavarat. Jadavar, <laughs> Jadavar's logic is this. <laughs> so he is saying that. Okay, bro, I will take one minute. 
<laughs> so okay what what do you want to say on the contextual and then we'll hear now only tell <laughs> we are also like rahugan rahugan only prabhu ji we are also not <laughs> yeah, <that's> right. Right. <laughs> yes so you are all rahugan so see this is what he is saying a hey, there is a feet and this is the feet on that feet there are the knees on that knees there are the thighs on the thighs there is a belly on the belly there is a shoulder and on the shoulder there is head acha banaye na bomma figure is good <laughs> so like this what is there so this mud is kept on the another mud so why you have to get pain is it clear now raghuna is submits jada bartha is saying that is it clear now so these four palanquins each person is a timber so mud is kept on the wise and on that the shoulders there is another matter is kept that is palanquin is made up of matter and in that another matter is sitting that is you <laughs> you are also matter lump of matter and you are sitting and thinking that yourself as i am the king but you are not the king you are shuddha jivatma you are the soul and this is body this is nothing but lump of matter finish so and unnecessary falsely you are identifying yourself as as a king so is it clear like that he is asking so then if you don't get any so pain if i keep 100 kg on the table so why you are getting the pain why these people are you are saying that so soul is getting the pain no no pain to the soul clear okay we'll discuss the one second the purport <laughs> yes after analyzing the material bodies of the palanquin carrier and the palanquin passengers jadabartha concludes that the real living force that means why jadabartha is taking this example because even after telling nicely so raghugana was not able to understand the the main point so that's why he gave the the pratyaksha example that means which is live example which is in front of his eyes that example he gave so the living entity is the offshoot or offspring of the lord vishnu okay mm. so although he was falsely proud of being the king king raghugana was not really stupid in all therefore was rebucking the palankin carriers including the self realized brahmana jadabharata this is the first accusation jadabharata made against the king who was daring to talk to a learned brahmana from the flimsy ground of flimsy ground of ignorance identifying everything with matter king rahugana argue that the living entity is within the body and that when the body is fatigued the living entity within must therefore be suffering it is clearly explained in the following verse that the living entity doesn't suffer due to bodily so body is fatigue sri vishnu chakra thakur gives an example of a child ah actually this more one more point one beautiful young girl is there and to to her if you give the so so much jewel one kg jewelry you give to decorate she is going to a function so will she feel any pain for that wearing that gold no and she is going to also she is a young girl and she is also having a small kid and she will also carrying him in her in her, in her just what is that kya bolte hai isko huh chanka <laughs> so chankanit kuni so maybe so she is carrying that that her child so will she get any pain no so that means according to vishnu vishnu chakra tagore is giving one more point so but if you are given with the 50 kg of some rice bag then you will get the pain but so same that girl she is not getting the pain for the something which are liking to carry then she is not getting pain for that and which are you are not liking you are getting the pain for that so that means ultimately funda is so how you are that means it's just because of your mental concoction only some things are giving pain and some things are giving the pleasure to you so but actually you are beyond this this concoction mental concoction so concoction that is jivatma is different from these two and it is simply what so it is not having any pain and any pleasure so now you see the proper purpose sila visna chakutaru gives an example of a child heavily decorated with ornaments although the child's body is very delicate so he doesn't feel fatigue nor do the parents think that his ornaments 
should be taken away the living entity has nothing to do with the ornament should be uh, the living entity has to, nothing to do with the bodily pain and pleasure there are simply mental concoctions an intelligent man will find the original cause of everything so these are all pain and pleasure all mental concoctions so this is the point vishnu chakra thakur is raising in his material combinations and permutations may be matter of fact in worldly dealings but actually the living force the soul has nothing to do with them those who are materially upset take care of the body and manufacture daridra narayana pur narayana however it is not a fact that the soul or super soul becomes poor simply because by the because the body is poor these are the statements of ignorant people the soul and super soul are always apart from bodily pleasure and pain bodily pleasure and pain are because of mental concoctions not because of soul it's they are not there for the soul okay thank you very much so we'll make the one question which question banega give you an a live example uh, that means explain the live example given by jadabharata to clarify raghunas opinion of soul gets fatigue you you uh, explain a uh, give explain the live example given by explain the live example given by ha uh, jadabharat so to to clarify to clarify rahuganas ha uh, rahuganas Uh, Raghunas misunderstanding. What is that mis misunderstanding? That uh, soul soul gets fatigue. Fatigue. Okay. So this five marks question. Because I don't know. and these chapters questions are not there i think that's why you should make questions question bank parallel you should make ha huh? oh, i sent already aja in whatsapp i sent okay thank you very much sila prabhupad ki jai